Imagine you're on a plane and the pilot walked past you wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Would you be okay with that? I mean, you might say that if the pilot can technically fly a plane, why does it matter what he wears? But you'd be wrong. Experiments have been repeated many times where they take two random sets of people and put one in white lab coats and the other ones wearing their normal everyday clothes. And every time they found, the people in white lab coats made less mistakes and were more focused on the activities than the people that weren't wearing the coats. So a pilot who isn't wearing uniform is more likely to make mistakes than one who is. Do you still want to get on that plane? That might be why Mark Twain said, clothes make the man, naked people have very little influence on society. So you might ask, well, this is interesting stuff, but what's it got to do with me? What do you wear when you go and see a customer? What do you wear when you go and see a prospect? Because what you wear will affect not only the way that they perceive you, but your own performance. Are you quite relaxed with what your staff wear at work? But actually, the clothes that they wear will affect their performance. Not everybody has to be in a shirt and tie, but making sure that people are wearing a uniform as it were, that will bring out the best in them for the job that they're doing is important. If you have people in a very creative role, allowing them to wear clothes that allow them to express themselves might bring out the best in them. Similarly, a chef in the kitchen wears whites because hygiene is of the utmost importance. So it's important to think about how you want to be perceived and how you want to perform and ensure that your clothes match those aspirations. We'd love to receive your comments, so please put them in the comment box. And for more marketing updates, please hit subscribe.